Uh, you can give him a phone call. Can you? you know, that way. Or can you, you can't call, but you don't call him to come out? Um, I don't know who you're with. The Citizens for a Better Arizona. Okay, you may separate. Thank you. Him, our representative, come out, see if he's available. Just, it'll take two minutes. Carla Manis from his district. Can you say it louder? He's, uh, he's actually not available to see anybody at the moment. Can you I have a staff person come out? Uh, they're actually really busy in that office today. I know, but I'm not sure to see. Can you ask the staff person to come out, please? That's, I mean, you're here to kind of facilitate it, right? Correct. So the answer was no to seeing us. I understand that. Can you ask them to send a staff person? Oh, like I said, they're actually just busy in that office today. I know, but so. you, you don't make that decision for them. Ask them, please, and tell them. Ask them. Let them tell you they're too busy. Um, she just told me over the phone. Well, we asked for to speak to Senator Pierce. Well, now we're asking the, a representative come out. Okay. Um, just, come on, just please. Sir, just like one please more job. time. Please My name's Joe Kabaki. I'm the Sergeant okay. at Arms here. I'd be happy to take that for you and deliver it to the President if you like. That's right, but you're not a representative, nor do you work for the staff. And so what I'm here to do is asking you as a security to just call and say, to request that this one staff person come out. It's quite a big group, so we can present something. These to them, since he, we have people call his office, they wouldn't, he wouldn't answer the phone, went to voicemail. This is about the market, it's about access to your, to your representative. That's all we're asking. So I know you don't work for him. I know you don't work for him. We're asking you on behalf of us to call and say, can they send our representative? It's common practice. It's also common just decency and respect. You know, constituents. I, I, so we're not leaving. So. Is it possible that you would mind just trying again and asking if a representative from his office would just give us a minute of his time? Please. We'd like to see our son. Yeah, he, very I invited him to my home. He lives near me and he's never returned my phone call. Thank you. Thank you very much. much. You know, if you, if you can be bold enough to deny $60 million, sure you can come out to face your constituency. Yeah. Well, he always had time to see me or to listen when it was seeking votes. Never knocked on my door. Well, four staffers. She's not nope. Like I said, I'd be happy to take anything that you have. I can deliver to the president as well. Can you deliver? I am an employee of the Senate. So. Yeah, can you give me the number. Thank you. Yeah, six zero two. Can you can you can you then go in? Nine two six. Right? Can you go in and ask this in the representative? Yeah. About? Five seven six well, zero. It, it, if they're not gonna, if they're not answering the phone, then I'm assuming that they're very busy and the president has scheduled appointments. So if he can't see you, then I'd be happy to take whatever you have and deliver it. Well, we made two phone calls already. Yeah, the same so. thing answer. They don't, have to, they don't have to do anything as a favor. But come on, this is what you guys do for work. You get paid to do this for you. These people here volunteer on their time to come and do some public business at the Capitol. I understand that. I understand that. And that's why we made those two phone calls. And like I said, we'd be happy to go ahead and take that information and deliver it for you. You know what? We'd be happy to leave. Right here. So, yeah, we'll wait. Yeah. We'll wait. Yeah, we'll leave it. I mean, if they want to just recognize the folks, we'll leave as soon as they can deliver this to someone from his office. Otherwise, we'll just wait. Yeah, I'll wait. Some of us have taken time off. Hiding behind his time. So that would break my voicemail. Your call went to voicemail. Just, just you know, the official response right now is that they made two calls, and for them, that's enough. Right? They made two calls. The second time, they didn't even talk to anybody. They got a voicemail. So they're not going to call again. How, how many of us this are from District 18? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're from District 18. We want to talk to our senator. Yeah. At least yeah. representative. Or representative. So, so that's where it's at. They're saying that they're willing to take something for us, but they're not willing to go in there and talk to them and ask them to come out, which I think is another very reasonable request. Okay, bring your job too. Yeah, so that's why, that's why I kind of, this is, this is our capital. We're, we're here to make a very reasonable request to present something to a staff person that's funded by your all tax dollars. Of the president of the Senate, who's now taken a very difficult, a very strong stance against unemployed workers and not giving them the money, and so we're here to do no business. And so I just say we just sit and wait for a little bit. That's fine. Can we can yeah. wait. We have to yeah. do that. Yeah. Where, where would they like us to go? Yeah. No, we're still here. We're still here. We can just take care of it.